Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff or volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. each weekday for a new look and a new conversation. My name is Sue. I'm a volunteer docent at the Art Museum. Tomorrow, July 30th, happens to be the birthday of Henry Moore, born in 1898. In honor of Henry, I'd like to introduce you to this pastel and wax crayon drawing called Five Standing and One Seated Figure, created by Moore in 1981, just five years before his death in 1986. Unfortunately, this work is currently not on display at the museum. So what are we looking at here? In the center of the drawing, I see the profile of a black chair. It looks like a figure to the left of the chair is just inches away from being seated on the chair. I see two figures to the left of the chair and three figures to the right of the chair. What drew me to this work was the monochromatic colors of the brown, white, and gray in the background with the pops of color and very pleasing palette of blue, pink, pale green, and yellow. To me, these pastel colors seem to imply an inner skeletal framework which supports the fleshy, round outline of the figures. Finally, the hazy outline of these figures makes some of them seem almost ghost-like, especially the figure on the far right. So what is Moore attempting to portray with this work? My assumption is that this is a study for another work, but I really don't know. This might be the final product as Moore had intended. Moore was quoted as saying, I have always liked drawing. When you draw, you see things more intensely. This might explain why Moore created over 7,500 drawings in the 70 years he spent producing art. He found drawing to be an ideal medium for a wide range of purposes, from a tool to study natural forms, as a way to experiment with new techniques, and finally, as a way to develop new sculptures. So who was Henry Moore? He is probably most famous for his large-scale abstract cast bronze sculptures of the human form. As an English artist, he introduced modernism to the UK. Moore's popularity and his ability to fulfill large-scale commissions later in life made him exceptionally wealthy. However, Moore chose to lead a very frugal life and most of his money that he earned went towards endowing his own foundation which continues to support and promote the arts today. And so my question for you is this, what do you think was the intended use of this drawing? Was this a study for another work or was this drawing itself the final goal? I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments below.